hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to get the source code of a website using http web request and http web response in your c sharp application so let's get started first of all we will take a button and we will take a text box and we will take a rich text box so this is a rich text box and this button I will change the text of this button and I will change it as get source code so when this button is pressed it will give us the source code of the website okay and this text box I will uh, use it for entering the URL of the website so I will change the name of this text box as text box URL and text box URL and this rich text box will contain the source code so let's get started so just take these three things a button a text box and a rich text box and just click your button and double click it and in here we will write our code so first of all we need to import some using derivatives so first using we are going to use is using system dot net because we are going to use http web request and web response so this will give you those classes and second thing we are going to use is stream reader so we will add using system dot io so add these two namespaces and in your button click event first of all what we will do is we will declare a string url is equal to the text box text so text box url dot text okay so this is the text box name and this is the text which we are using and then we will declare http web request first so write http web request and we will give it a variable name request is equal to and we will cast this request as http web request once again and then we will write web web request dot create so here we will write dot create and we will pass our url string here so we are passing of whatever we enter in the text box we are converting it into this string and we are passing this string or url to the http web request then we will create a http web response so write web response
response is equal to once again we will cast our web response and we will write here this request here dot web or dot get response okay now we have this request and response and now we want to transfer our source code or response to the rich text box so how can we do this we will create a stream reader so write stream reader sr is equal to new stream reader and in the bracket we will pass this response dot get response stream and bracket closed and now we will pass this stream to the rich text box so our rich text box name is rich text box 1 dot text is equal to this stream reader sr sr dot read to end because we want to read till last and we will close this stream reader once again so s stream reader close okay so we are ready to run the code this is the code for entering the url and getting the response for, for the source code so let's try and run the program so it's running and for example i want to give the source code of my website www.programmingknowledge.org so i will copy the url for that and i will paste it in here in the text box okay and i will click this get source code and you see here all the source code from the website comes into this rich text box so i just wanted to show you how you can use these http web request and http web re response that's why i have shown you this code the simplest way to get the source code is just go to the website and right click and just click view source code and you will be able to see the source code of the website but i just wanted to show you how to do it programmatically that's why i have shown you this code so i hope you have learned something new this time please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now